Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Mr. Kovalt and uh, in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, calculate the density or uh, use the density uh, equation for um, finding information in a problem. So <clears throat> in, the, in the last video I went over how you can get um, the density equation of a gas uh, from the uh, ideal gas law. So if you remember, uh, the density of a gas uh, is going to be equal to, uh, it's going to be uh, the pressure times the molar mass, that's uh, my weird M for molar mass, divided by RT. So this, is, uh, this will work for uh, under any conditions for a gas. Um, if you're under STP, then you remember it's just the uh, molar mass uh, of the gas divided by molar, molar volume. So, and the molar volume is uh, 22.4 liters per mole. Okay, so uh, if we look at the first problem, uh, the first problem, remember, uh, standard temperature and pressure. Standard temperature is 0 degrees Celsius, 273 degrees Kelvin. So we're not at standard temperature. And standard pressure would be 760 millimeters. And so we're not at standard pressure either. Um, so uh, we would use our equation. They're saying calculate the density of nitrogen gas. So we will look up the molar mass of nitrogen gas. You have to remember that nitrogen gas is N2. It's not N, but N2. It's a diatomic uh, element. So you got to look that up. So nitrogen, nitrogen is 14.01. So that means that's going to be 28, 28.02 uh, grams per mole. <clears throat> so uh, they were giving us the pressure, so we need to convert that to uh, atmospheres because of our, our value. So uh, that's going to be 755 millimeters of mercury over 1. And then it's 760 millimeters of mercury for every 1 atmosphere. So 760 millimeters of mercury on the bottom and one atmosphere on top so millimeters of mercury cancel out and so we get our calculator and we calculate uh, 755 divided by 760 equals and we get 0.9934 so 0.9934 atmospheres Okay, um, we got to keep track of our sig figs. We have three sig figs here and three sig figs here. So our answer is going to be in three sig figs. Let me double check. Yeah, so um, actually, uh, we don't have to worry about this. Um, this is exact. So one atmosphere is exactly equal to 716 millimeters of mercury. So this is exact. So we can ignore this. And then uh, three is the only number we have. So uh, one, two, three. So I'm going to underline it. I can keep one more or m more than one, but at least one after should be fine to avoid rounding mistakes. So, but I, I underlined the three to uh, remind myself that that's the last significant digit. And now I have to do the same thing for 125 cent, uh, centigrade. So 125 degrees Celsius plus 273.15 is going to give me, that's going to be uh, 398, 398.15. Calvin, and again, um, since I'm adding, the rule is uh, least number of decimal places. So I have two here, I have zero here. So this is the last digit, no decimal places. I'm not allowed decimal places. Okay, so now that I have, uh, I have uh, temperature in the right uh, unit, 
I have uh, pressure in the right unit. Uh, I know what R is, and the molar mass I have is, is there. So now all I need to do is plug it into the equation. So D is equal to uh, pressure, so 0 0.9934 atmospheres multiplied by the molar mass, which is 28.02 grams per mole, divided by and then my R value, which is 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres over mole Kelvin, multiplied by temperature, which is 398, 398, oh wait, hold on, 398, yes, 398, 398.15 Kelvin. Okay, so Kelvin is going to cancel out um, moles, moles are going to cancel out, atmospheres are going to cancel out, and that's going to leave me with grams per liter. Okay, so that's going to be the units of density. So then I calculate everything out. So, so I'm going to ca calculate that, multiply uh, 0.9934 times 28.02 divided by 0 0.08206 divided by 398 0.15 equals, and I get 0.8519, so I get uh, 0.8519, let's say 67, okay, and this is grams per liter, and then I check my sig figs, so again, the uh, 3 is the last sig fig here. The eight is the last one here. So I have three sig figs here. I have four here. I have three here and I have four here. So the least number is three. So I'm gonna cut it off here. I have a nine there, so that's gonna be a two. So the final answer is 0.852 grams per liter of this gas. Okay, that's the first problem. So pretty straightforward, um, use the equation, density equals the pressure times the molar mass divided by R, time, uh, divided, by R divided by temperature. Uh, the only thing you need to make sure is that temperature is in Kelvin and that your pressure is in atmospheres. Um, okay, let's do the next problem. Now here, uh, problem number two, it says the density of a gas is 1.43 grams per liter. So they're giving you the, the density, okay? Uh, and they give you the temperature at a temperature of 23 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 0.789 atmospheres. Calculate the molar mass of the gas. So now we have to manipulate our equation. So they're giving us density. We know our, they're giving us T, temperature and pressure. They want us to find the molar mass. So let's solve our equation for molar mass. So if I multiply both sides by T, so I multiply both sides by T, so that's going to cancel out. I'm going to multiply both sides by R. So that's going to cancel out. I'm going to divide by pressure, divided by pressure. So pressure is going to cancel out. I'm left with molar, uh, the molar mass. So that means that the molar mass is equal to RTD over P. Okay, so now we need to make sure that we uh, calculate the temperature, convert that to uh, uh, Kelvin, and we need to, uh, uh, we don't need to do anything with this, it's uh, atmospheres, so we keep that um, in atmospheres, so we need to convert this. Um, also, double check to make sure that you're not an STP, because if you're an STP, you can just use this simple equation here. Um, but we're not at STP because that would be zero degrees Celsius for STP and it would be one atmosphere. So we're not at STP. So we have to use this equation. So let's uh, convert our temperature. So 30, 23 degrees plus 273.15 
that's going to give us 296, 296.15 Kelvin. Okay, so now we have Kelvin, we have our atmospheres, we have our density in grams per liter. That's important. Check the check the units. Grams per liter, that's what we want because we want we want liters. So if it wasn't in liters, then we would have to do a conversion and get that to grams per liter. So check that. Make sure you check that. Okay, so we're ready to go. So let's plug this in. Molar mass is equal to R 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres over mole Kelvin. Multiplied by the temperature, which is 296.15 Kelvin. Uh, multiplied by the density, which is 1.43 grams per, oops, per liter. And then we're going to divide by the pressure. And the pressure is atmospheres. 0 0.789 atmospheres. So make sure everything cancels out. So atmospheres cancels out. Kelvin cancels out. Uh, let's see, liters. Liters is going to cancel out. Okay. And anything else? Okay, we have moles on the bottom. We have grams on top. So we have grams per mole, which is your molar mass. So we've got the units we want. So now we calculate. So we have point zero point zero eight two zero six times two ninety six point one five times one point four three divided by point seven eight nine equals, and we have forty four. 0 0.045 so 44.045 let me double check 0 0.045 so we'll just say 57 okay so and that's grams per mole so I can't keep all of those digits so I have to go back to my uh, numbers here and double check so I have <clears throat> three sig figs here I have five here uh, oh but remember um, when I was adding I can only have the least number of decimal places which is zero so six good catch good eye Mr. Cobalt good eye so I have three there three here three here and four there so the least number is three so I'm going to cut it off after one two three that's a four so I keep that as zero forty four uh, 0 0.0 grams per mole and that is the molar mass of this gas whatever gas it is um, I hope this is helpful um, now you can uh, use this equation if you need to find the density or if they give you the density of a gas you can use this equation to find the molar mass or you can use the molar mass to find the density um, I hope this was helpful uh, if you like this video like it share it, uh, put a comment in the comment section, uh, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell so you can um, get more notifications from, my, uh, from me about new videos. Thank you for uh, coming, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.